Here we are in Van Horn for another Horseman 9 video. Today's horse is the Flaxen Chestnut Morgan. A beautiful little horse as are all the Morgans, but it has very low health. This is a look at Arthur's outfit for today. And this is my primary weapon for today, the Springfield Rifle. These are my secondary weapons. And this will be my backup weapon. All right, so let's get this show on the road, get the timer going. The Flaxen Chestnut is one of my favorite coats of the Morgan. I think between it and the Liver Chestnut, those are my two favorite ones. Obviously the Liver Chestnut has uh, better stats. It's the Special Morgan, has seven speed and enhanced stamina as well, but I really like this, uh, this coat. I have modified the mane and tail length and color. plan for uh, which way I was going to go. I'm not, yeah. actually I'm not sure I went the right way there. No, I don't think I did. Alright, let me turn around. Sorry about that. We'll get it figured out here in a second. Yeah, I need to be down there. There's the alternate entrance to the mine. Yeah, this is the way I want to go right here. Good girl. The idea is to come come out on the road um, up by the railroad tracks and then get on the railroad tracks and go in the direction of Bacchus Station using just the railroad tracks. Yep. I do find a lot of these little trails um, in Roanoke to be confusing. Uh, you good girl? I like this little stretch of road here. It's, it's hard to get it just right going full gallop. This stretch here is a good place to have a cougar or black bear encounter. And it seems like if you have a bounty in this state, the bounty hunters like to spawn right around here as well. Alright, so there's the railroad. You can get a moose uh, to spawn here sometimes, a cougar to spawn just to the right, and black bears to the left. The Morgans are very small, along with the Arabians. The Morgans and the Arabians are the exact same size. I've had them side by side before. They're almost the, basically the exact same size and um, they're the smallest horses in the game. So Arthur does look a little bit, a little bit big on their back. They're fun little horses to ride though. Um, they have a high tempo, they have a, since they're small, they have a very short stride and thus they have a, a high tempo when they gallop and it sort of, it sort of gives you the feel like you're moving out pretty fast. You're not actually, you're kind of moving out slow, but in comparison to the Kentucky uh, Saddler, for example, the Kentucky Saddler has a, a longer stride, so its tempo sounds slower, but that horse and this horse are the same speed. 
I got this particular Morgan. I stole him. Um, I was in the Little Creek River Valley area, and there's an NPC who, I guess he's some sort of herbalist or something, but he, he tries to get Arthur to try some of the herbs in the valley, and his horse has all these uh, bags of herbs and things on them. So I took that horse from him. I made a video about it too because this horse did not want to be stolen and it was a major pain in the ass to actually bond it and it kept bucking me off. I don't know why. But after I finally got it to let me ride it, I decided I went to so much trouble to get it that I wanted to keep it. So I did and I named it Flower. Now this railroad tunnel is really long and you can pull off a really good train robbery inside here if you stay on the train until it gets in this tunnel and then you begin the robbery and stop the train, the lawmen won't come in here after you. Um, I don't really rob that many trains, but when I do, I, I just get on them and rob them. I don't care if the law comes. If, if the law comes, I just have a shootout with them and run away or whatever. But if you're concerned about getting killed or not getting the bounty, that's the way to do it. Stop the train in that tunnel. Right. So we just took a left here, almost at Bacca Station. We can either go right to Wallace, Fort Wallace or go straight. Um, we'll go straight. Yeah, you're doing good. We'll go down in the heartlands this way. And we're going down to uh, Carmody Dell, which is a farm where Arthur and Hosea. Uh, rob the stagecoach and that unlocks the the wagon bad. fence and this is a good place to get cow and bull hide Let's go over here to this campsite, see what kind of horses they have. Easy now. Hmm. Didn't actually see any horses. Yeah. It's kind of weird. That that campsite almost always have has horses if uh, if there's a campfire there. that wagon to the right. I go by there all the time and check the little box. It respawns. There's a bag of jewelry inside and um, it respawns. It's worth about $50, $50 I think. Right, so just heading through Twin Stack Pass now. Just to the right there is the Horseshoe Overlook Camp. Yeah. Just shoot through here and get on the railroad. That's Ride good. down toward Flatneck Station. I already used up nine minutes of the time. That's more than half of the mission clock. So that was quite a little detour to go up um, past Annisburg and up to the railroad like that. And we're not even across the bridge yet. But even so, I don't 
foresee us running out of time here. 17 minutes is so much time. You, you really have to work at it to use up all 17 minutes. I've done it before, but I mean, I, I did all kinds of crazy stuff. I stopped to take pictures. And, you know, I went way out of the way. And, And even, even so, I only barely ran out of the time. So, if you haven't done Horseman 9 yet, like with Arthur, that's something to keep in mind. You have plenty of time. So, at any point when you find yourself not slowing down because you're trying to save time and you run into trees and things like that, that doesn't have to be. You have so much time that you can literally stop and have a gunfight with bounty hunters or whatever. And, and still finish with you know three or four minutes to spare so if you're doing this challenge and you're running into difficulty just slow down that's the best thing to do is just slow down and avoid problems you know just go around them like if a wagon were on this bridge for example you just stop and let the wagon pass first. I almost have an itch to go to the left there and try the broken bridge. I've never tried to jump a Morgan across that broken bridge. I don't I don't even know if it would do it or not. It's such a small horse. I just it's never crossed my mind to even try that. Sort of already anticipating the gunfight I plan to have in Blackwater after this. Because, first of all, the Morgan, as I already said, has the lowest health in the game. So I have to look after its health really good because even, even the horses with higher health, um, You're doing good. the Pinkertons, the lawmen, their fire is so vicious. I mean, It'll just strip the health off of almost any horse. And the Morgan has less health than any horse, so yeah, that's going to be an issue. And then, let's take this turn here to go close up. One, I went, damn, 12 and a half minutes. And also, I have chosen the Springfield as my primary weapon today. And the Springfield is a single shot breech loading rifle. It has a large caliber and it will it will kill you know someone with just one shot but if you miss it takes quite a while to reload so that's going to be an issue. Alright so I'm going to take my health tonic and I'm going to give the Morgan a health tonic too because I don't I don't want him to get shot out from under me before I ever make it to Blackwater. Get that mini map turned on. All right, we made it past him. I think this is Horseman Nine is probably the most challenging mission uh, for your horse. So I want to do a Horseman 9 for most of the different breeds and stuff so that people can look at that and have confidence that their horse can make it. You don't, you don't need a Turkomine or a Missouri Fox Trotter to do this challenge. Any, any horse will do. And I firmly believe that you should use the horse in the game that you like to ride. And if you like to ride the Morgans, I mean, I've... They'll do fine. You just have to adapt to them. You know, they have low health, so you have to look after that. 
it's like I love the Brindle Thoroughbred, but it also has low health. Not as low as the Morgan, but you know when I'm fighting. Oh, that wasn't so bad. When I'm on the Brindle and I run into a big uh, gang of bounty hunters or whatever, I get off of it. You know, even though it's a really fast horse, I either run away or I just dismount and fight from my, you know, from foot. All right, we're coming up on 15 minutes. Let's see if this Horseman 9 registers. Yes, it did. So there you go, you can do that on a Morgan. Now let's see what we can do with this spring-filled rifle. There we go. Three shots, three kills. That's the way you gotta do it. I like the way all the people run. Like it's the, the apocalypse or something, you know? Alright, doing good so far. Six out of six. I'm trying to stay close to the water here in case I need to get the hell out of here. Keeping an eye on the Morgan's health. Oh, missed him. Getting a little sloppy here. Got him. The game slows your horse down right there. I don't know why. I'll give him another health tonic. I'm a little bit wary of going in the center of town for this Morgan, but let's give it a try. Whoop. Need to get the hell out of the way of that. I have bad experience with these carriages. I try not to run over the NPCs. Oh. Oh, it was going so well up at that point. Oh, they're shooting at the horse. Let me get away from it. Let me get over here in this hole, get some cover. That little pistol just doesn't have enough damage. Alright, so I'm going to run away from my horse so all these people will follow me. And uh, after I get them over this way, then I'll try to make them back to the horse. Oh, I always do that. I always think I can climb up there from this box. I can't. Back to the rifle. I can't tell what's going on with my horse in the mini map, but it looks like I've got these guys away from it. Oh no, I can see it now, it's down. It's got the little red cross beside it on the mini-map, so it's down. Alright. Alright, let's get her revived. Not too many of them left. Yeah, 
that Springfield sorts them out. You just have to make sure you hit them. The sawed off shotgun sorts them out too. A little pistol here, it doesn't really sort things out. It doesn't look good in the holster, it doesn't have a lot of damage. What to do, what to do. Uh, let's go up here and see what, yeah, let's get these guys. I think I want one of those hats. You can't keep it, but still. They shot my hat off somewhere, and I don't know where they shot it off, so I'm gonna take that one. I see one more guy on the map here. Actually, there's another one there, but I don't see where he is. He might be on top of that building. Uh, I don't have time to mess around with that. Let's get out of here. shooting at me? <laughs> Not that one. Sweet little horse, though. They're not strong swimmers, though, the Morgans. It takes a little bit longer to get across this stretch of water than it would on a, a bigger horse. Alright, so that was that. The Morgan can uh, do Horseman 9 and it can last in a shootout too if you look after it. I hope that was uh, entertaining. If you stuck with me this far, thanks for watching.